The coalition of INEC accredited observer groups and the International Police Chaplain for Sustainable Development and Law Enforcement have advised the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Social Democratic Party, SDP, and other political parties in the state not to choose violence as a means of expressing their dissatisfaction with the outcome of the election. The groups at a different news briefing conference held, headed by Head of Mission, Dr. Enoy Dunsi, Eno Udensi, rather, Pan-African Women Project and International Police Chaplain for Sustainable Development, Public Relations Officer Oscar David, urged their aggrieved parties to seek redress in court. According to David, who spoke on behalf of the international group, sustainability of social peace is crucial for the Ondo State Governorship election. On her part, Head of Mission Pan-African Women Project, Dr. Udensi, recommended the INEC that INEC should continue to interact with the political parties and the civil society community in order to strengthen and deepen the nation's democracy. Uh, which, of course, we, must, we can't say yet what would happen in Ondo, but we must say, unlike some places where right from the polling unit, agents will begin to fight agents, parties will begin to fight parties over results or outcome. It wasn't seen in Ondo, and we are further encouraging that where they have such contestation or disagreements, they should resort to legal means rather than taking laws into their hands. More intense voters' education and mass sensitization by both electoral body, that's the INEC, and political parties should be made. From our database, and from our observations on the field, there were high voter turnout at Ondo North and Ondo South as compared to our experiences recorded from the Ondo Central. Generally, we observed that the turnout at this election was low as a result of poor voter education and which had brought us to a ratio and a statistics of only 24% turnout. Importantly, we report no loss of life in the process of this election, which reflects positively on the overall conduct of the election. We would like to encourage those who lost in this election to be bold and exhibit the spirit of sportsmanship by congratulating the APC candidate who has won landslide across the 18 local government areas. Uh, which, of course, Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.